And Aries is considered a red-tailed hawk. Their um, plants are dandelion, and their stone is a fire opal. And you want to think about what is the hawk like, you know, so we can understand the, who the Aries is a bit with the hawk. It's considered a messenger. It learns things. It, it finds information, and it shares it. It loves to chat. It loves to talk. It loves to communicate. And this is, you know, and that fire opal is that... Um, the beauty and the beautiful energy that many Aries are. Most Aries people are good looking <clears throat> and they hold their beauty for most of their lives as well. So even in their aging uh, times, they are still very good looking and very vital and very vibrant. And that is the energy of the hawk. The red tail hawk is a very busy, um, active, aggressive energy, you know? So it's not so surprising that um, the Aries is being considered a red hawk in the native astrology. So that uh, red tail hawk energy is also associated to the dandelion. And the dandelion is like one of the first flowers in spring, right? And it's one of the, the flowers that are there the entire season. And they're also very hard to get rid of, and they're very prolific and considered a weed. Huh. And again, another thing, the Aries, so, you know, that that flower is a cute flower. And, you know, I don't know if you know this, but you can actually eat them, not just the roots, um, but um, you can eat the flowers and you can coat them in flour and fry them, and they're really yummy. So, yeah, dandelion is good for the liver. Um, it's good for menopause. It's good for overheating. Uh, so lots of good energy in the dandelion. And this is why I think it's it's given to the Aries, is because the Aries can get a little bit overheated, right? when they're angry or irritated, and the dandelion is supposed to cool that energy down.